Welcome back. Today it is time to get slimed. Chemical Kim is here to show us how to make that gooey stuff and make it glow in the dark. What you got That's there? That's right. Yeah, without a doubt. This is fun. Home science, very safe. And we're going to do two different um, glow in the darks. Okay. We're going to have the lights come down just to show really quickly uh -huh. using a black light the idea of luminous. Okay. <gasps> and when you, took a, when you take materials that absorb, you know, UV light and then yeah. emit it as visible light, that's a luminous science. And they contain phosphors, and that's what gives it that great effect. Very cool. And there's cool. two types. Isn't that so cool? Yeah. So, so cool. So there's two types of slime that we're going to make. And you're going to, we're going to kind of do a little competition. Oh, here. I love a competition. Isn't that fun? Yes. You're going to use. A material that does not need a black light to okay. glow. It's and called that glow glue. Glow glue. Okay. And you can find many different glow materials. Okay. And the other ingredient that you're going to use, is, as well as I will, will be the Elmer's glue. Okay. And then a material that's called borax, okay, which you can purchase at uh, any store in the laundry department. Sure. And you dissolve this in water, mm -hmm. or it also comes in this product called Stay Flow. Okay. Already dissolved, and that's what I have here. Okay. okay. Now, what I'm going to do before we do our little competition, you get to help me make mine at the beginning. Okay. Okay. So if mine works, you get credit for it too. Oh, concerned. thank heavens. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is kind of a neat. This contains phosphors that need the black light in order for it to glow. Mm -hmm. Okay, the luminescent. And so to do this, what I've done is take apart. A uh, um, highlighter pen, and oh, I would okay. recommend a parent helping because I had to it's use a bit some. of a cut. Yeah, yeah, it is a bit of a cut. And then you have the tube and the highlighter. Yes. Okay. And of course, not all highlight highlighters work under the black light, so you want to, of course, test. And then what you're going to do, and I'm going to hold the highlighter, okay. is just as if you're a tap of of water, and you're just going to run it through. Oh, and what you would do is for several minutes do this, yes. and that's probably good for now, but you would do that for several minutes until all of the highlighter comes out, or you could just let it sit and let It'll it fall into drain out. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be my magic juice. And I can see it's good. Isn't that good? Yes. And your magic juice is going to be this. Okay. Okay. Now we've oh. done slime before, but just to repeat the instructions. Yes. What you're going to do is put that in, here. in there. All um, of it? And take the top off. It might be a little oh, bit easier. Oh, be faster. Yeah. Um, not all of it, but about equal parts of that glow glue yeah, like along that with much. the Elmer's glue. Okay. okay. And I'm going to do the same thing with my highlighter juice. Okay. Okay. And then what you want to do is give that a good mix. So okay. equal parts. And that right there is adding the wonderful ingredients of Luminous. Now, a little signs okay. with the slime. Yes. Um, this is polyvinyl um, acetate. Yes. And when it reacts with the borax, it forms this long chain polymer. Yes. Okay. Yours is looking a way bit better than mine. Ah, well, we don't know. We'll see when the okay. lights go down. All right. Okay, now we're going to add the borax. About okay. equal amount of what you have there. Okay. So I'll let you determine that. And then I will add, and I might need, you have more slime than me, and we really well, want to slime it out, don't we, Catherine? We do. We but, do. You know, you can't ever have too much slime. <laughs> and then after you do that, oh, it's you'll start up. to feel the, the, the thickening. Yes. Now, if you feel like it's a little bit too sticky, yes. add some more sodium borate or borax. Okay, that's the chemical that's compound. This, this stuff. Oh, yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay. And that is what gets this long chain polymer, which is a material that behaves as both a solid and a liquid. Yes. You know, and so every time you sneeze and you see that snot, Ooh. you can say, oh my gosh, you have a material that's like a solid and a liquid. Look, it will work. Yes. But, right. you know, will it actually hold will its shape? It? Okay. Not yet, but we're so getting there. So here we go. Yeah, yeah. And then get it in your hands and just play with it, Catherine. You know I like Ready? to get my hands into so this business. So let's knock the lights down and let's see which one has the better glow. Ooh. Yours, of course, right? But in the dark, yours would because yours does not need the black light to oh, absorb and stay glowing. So if you lift yours up a little bit out of the dark, you have still a little bit of a glow. Yes. Okay. Where maybe I, I wouldn't have it as so much. Yes, got but it. But it's still fun science for any goblin or, or yes. troll that comes to visit you. You can compete in the snot. Oh my gosh, this could compete just be. Compete in a snot. I like it. <laughs> well, I love this because you're going to focus on some fun, kind of weird, creepy science for Halloween over the next several visits with us. Exactly. So stay tuned for that. You can find a lot more activities from Chemical Kim on our website at WZZM13.com under Take 5 Links.